Okay, so now we're headed into our EMT and paramedic simulation space. If you are squeamish, now is probably a good time to stop watching this video. So this space is devoted to learning how to be a proper EMT and paramedic. Such a vital and important thing to do for any community is to act as these very important caregivers. We have some interesting things going on in here today. They're studying on um, certain things to look for if bitten in the wilderness or having a problem in the wilderness. Over here, you can see that we have um, a small room. This is a room that we can stage in many different ways. Right now, other than the gurneys being in this space, it is set up mostly as a fairly sparse apartment. We can make it into a nursing care room. We could make it a little smaller and add some interesting elements to make this room a, a bathroom. So there's lots of different, we could make it a street corner. So there's lots of different things that we do in order to make simulation spaces more realistic for our students. In addition to this downstairs space, we also have an upstairs apartment, which we can do all of the same manipulations to, to create an experience for our students. And we often do. It's, it's vital that our students know how to get up and down stairways in an emergency situation with their the people they're caring for. So as I mentioned, those squeamish, this is probably a good time to stop watching because we're going to go and see some of the things that our students train with. This gentleman we're coming to, his name is Mr. Hurt. He has some severe lacerations. These are all important tools, even though they're gory, um, they're important tools for our EMT and paramedics to learn with. Normally these things would be put together or just used in separate ways. Um, we even have a bicycle over here for bicycle accidents. We do have our own fully functioning ambulance. However, because it is used as an educational classroom, it cannot be used for community care. You might see it in our community. We're just learning in it. One of the things that they do um, is simulations for us, including helping a birthing mother give birth in this moving vehicle, learning to drive an ambulance and the protocols thereof. Very, very important. Also, we, I'm going to show you the classroom as I talk about what we do. Um, we have simulations that we do on campus that involve more than just the EMT paramedic students. So not so long ago, we did a crush injury where we pretended that someone crushed their leg in the welding facility. The EMT paramedic students were dispatched through 911 services to go and assess the situation and help the victim. They did that. Then they brought that victim, they assessed, they did all the treatment, they brought that victim to the hospital, which was our nursing simulation space. And they did the handoff to the nurses there, which is a critical component when you're talking about healthcare, is that handoff, what they need to know, how they need to say it so that everyone understands what is happening. And those experiences are very impactful to our students. Here you can see the classroom. They can do lecture in here and then go directly into lab. So important for this kind of learning. Isn't that a cool ambulance? I love it. And I'll give you a little peek inside of the ambulance itself. So there you go. Many, many thanks to our EMT and paramedic professionals out in the world. And we look forward to training some more. It's a great program.